Hello and welcome. This is Danish, the founder of jobskillshare.org. In this video, we will talk about can I apply to any entry level IT support positions early on? What is early on? Early on is when you finish that first fundamental course anywhere. It could be from our Udemy, which is like 14 hours worth of course. It could be our JSS membership, which is about 30 to 40 hours worth of course. So 30 to 40 hours, 14 hours is still enough for learning some basic stuff. Now, it's something that I've been doing for 10 years. And when somebody's new to IT, a lot of time they do self-rejection. They will hear this and they will like totally like say, no, no, that's not possible. Uh, I know people that have been applying for six months, one year, they still can, didn't get a job. It really depends on their resume, LinkedIn, how aggressive they're applying. When people come to me, it's 90% that individual is making mistakes. They self-reject themselves by looking at description and saying, oh, they have certain amount of experience, so I'm not going to apply. That's 0% chances for that person self-rejected themselves, while another person who knows a little bit how this works have gotten the same job as when people put even experience and the person don't even have experience. Now, we've been doing this for 10 years. If someone can believe it, that's great. If someone don't believe it, there's really nothing we can do. I will just ask them to go back to our YouTube channel, uh, go back to Reddit, ask people around. People have done it before you many, many years ago. But the, the main key over here is that when you say, can I apply early on? The big question is, can you manage the stress of not knowing much? Now, there are a lot of people. They have that sort of mentality where I can go into work and I will learn with them. And I will learn from like people like us or some other some other platforms. And they are pretty good at it. And they will land a job. And people have been done doing that uh, many, many years. People have landed jobs like that. They have learned from coworkers. They have learned in the stress environment. And that's totally fine. If you say that the answer is yes, and there's no like pressure on you, because there's other type of people too. They're financially stable. So they don't want to do this. They say, okay, I want to finish everything the way you have designed. So then I am less stressful at work. So I don't want to be stressed. So you see, that really depends on your financial status, how eagerly or how fast you want these jobs. Because let's go back to the, the checkpoints. When it comes to applying for jobs, it's a process. If you, if you finish, let's say, six courses and it's worth three months of training, but if you're not taking out your resume, you haven't worked on your LinkedIn the way we want you to do it, then you're still going to have failure because it doesn't matter how technical you are, the company don't know about you. And how are they going to know about you? It's going to be your resume. It's going to be your LinkedIn. It's going to be how aggressively you ap ap apply to the jobs. It's going to be how good you are at picking up the right titles for your jobs. So this is where people land a job quickly and the people who don't land a job in most cases in my, when I did the career sessions with people, when they struggle, it's mostly them self-rejecting themselves. I don't have A+, plus, I don't have degree, I don't have this, I don't have this. They make, they make this checklist already and when they go to the jobs, their jobs are very limited because they have already rejected themselves for many, many jobs that are potential jobs for them. So what is this concept? The concept is very simple. I always give this example. There are 10 companies and let's say nine companies are looking for experienced people or people with some sort of knowledge. They don't want to train you. So they will pick up your resume. If your resume is good, they may call you. And when you get to the interview, they will realize that you don't know too much. They will reject you. And if you can take that rejection, that's totally fine. You are one step near to the company who are going to pick you and who which which is this type of company what are these type of companies so like i said out of 10 there's one company they are looking for people like you who have started studying technology knows the basics they're not totally clueless they know some basics and the company is willing to teach you 
because they have technologies, they have things that they have designed, they have energy that the team is willing to take you in because that's why they told the manager to bring somebody who we can teach the new stuff. Don't bring somebody who is not willing to learn from us. So you see, there are companies who are willing to teach you, but for that, you have to keep applying, keep applying, keep applying, keep applying till you get that one company. And if you start early on, you're in the game, you're in the process. If you don't do that, you're not in the process. So what is the practical approach from JSS for JSS members, whether you're using a free membership and you have finished the part one course or part two, or you are using our premium membership and you have finished the modern part one or part two course and you still want to go ahead and quickly apply to these jobs. So let's suppose uh, you're going to go to my courses, you're going to type resume over here, and this is the course which is available for free to everybody. Everybody can register and get to this course. And then once you open this course, you see uh, like right here, it says sample resume and tips. You're going to click on download sample resume and tips, and you're going to scroll down and look on the bottom. It says JSS 2024 resume applying early. This is a little trimmed down version of a resume. So whichever fundamental course you're using with us, you can open uh, this uh, resume and then you can download it change the name and make sure that you have LinkedIn already covered. This will be done in your courses. This will be done even in this course. LinkedIn profile is must for this resume. So once you download it, uh, you watch the video in the courses, how to create the LinkedIn, you have done that part. And then you basically come down and then go through this list. This is a very basic list. Customer service is done in your fundamentals. Software, hardware, troubleshooting done in your fundamentals. Ticketing system may not be covered like extensively, but this is something you can do very quick. Like if you got a call and then they uh, call you for the interview, you can do this like in one hour. And after that, we have Active Directory basics done, Office 365 basics also done. If it's not done there, you can always go jump to the, uh, the Active Directory course in Office 365 and learn it in one or two hours. This is very basic stuff. Then coming down, of course, you have learned the basics, Windows 11, and then there are certain things that are there like Zoom, Microsoft Teams. You probably use this even on your own home base like jobs or like you know meetings or you're meeting somebody as a student you have used these tools and then on the bottom don't change anything this is just coming from your courses this explains what you're doing in these courses and it shows you as an experience where it says it support trainee member right you're a member of jss you're a member of jss anywhere you're doing our training you can put a member in there and then of course on the bottom you see there's a certification links if you have already got certification you can put there like comptia and stuff like that so this is a resume that many people have used many many years we refine it always every year and people call us and say hey i got a job now coming back to this is your resume part which you have to do after your first fundamental course once you complete the checklist uh, for the resume, making sure your LinkedIn is fully done, and then the rest I showed you in the video, uh, you don't need to go into too much if you are doing it in an early stage because at this point you, uh, of course, are going to lack some skills, so it's okay. You can jump into the searching for jobs because that's the whole concept of early applying, that you're moving into a searching for jobs a process or action early on. So you will click on this video where it says tips for jobs preparation and effective job search strategies. You click on that and then watch this video. Even though in this video, of course, we are going to focus on you completing everything, you knowing everything. That is too, that's like the full blown uh, like, like solution. We're saying you got to learn your stuff, right? But because you're applying early on, you can disregard some of the things in this video because that's for the people who we say that you need to finish everything and then be successful. Right now, you know you're going for some some rejection, so keep that in your mind. So coming down over here is the keywords which you need to start searching. IT support, specialist, help desk. These are the keywords. These are the title that you need to target. Then coming down over here to Indeed, you need to open Google, type Indeed, LinkedIn jobs, if you already have the profile, Monster, Simply Hire, Dice. These are all the job uh, uh, links that are available uh, currently in the market. Then there are some tips on the bottom. If you haven't created your LinkedIn, again, there's a video because it's very important. And that's where you need to start doing that research. Now, 
search has to be aggressive. Aggressive, what, what is the aggressive meaning? You need to apply, 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 apply. And many positions are there because you are competing with a lot of people over here. So you got to look for that one company that, again, that will pick you up and say, okay, this resume looks good. Let's call this individual because the resume is good. They may pick you up, pick it up, call you. Next step is going to be how well you are going to uh, talk about, tell me about yourself. Because if you're telling me about yourself is good and you can show this to them that you are willing to learn and you're already doing this in this platform, then that's where people will open up. They will disregard their certification requirements, experiences, all that stuff goes away. And they're like, okay, this individual is ready to go. So after this, you can come down to the interview section and this is the interview preparation. This is when a job call you or they send you a message that we got an interview for you. That's where you need to come over here and jump in and spend all the hours that you can because this is just you presenting them yourself uh, to the company in a more relaxed way, confident way. And you're going out there like, yeah, I started this this training. I done Active Directory X Y Z, and you're more fluent. You 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 want this job. You want to learn more skills. That's what they want to look for. That one company again. I'm going to keep reminding this. That one company. And it's okay if nine people have rejected you. If ten companies have rejected you, you would have learned so much from just going to the interviews itself you're way ahead of someone who haven't started this process so this is how you are going to get the job early now let's suppose you have landed a job if you are a member you already know that you need to complete the other courses because that's just you becoming more relaxed more uh, less stress at your work uh, you working for your future making sure that you learn the technology in the right way covering all the materials because in the help desk when you go to the company yeah you may copy a lot of things from the company and kind of keep doing the repetitive work but if you want to move up in this career you got to have some sort of education whether it's a company giving it to you whether you are our member you're going for more advanced courses you have to do that in this career if you want to move up if you want to stay in help desk that's up to you but we always tell our members that don't get stuck in help desk we are we have designed our courses in such way that it moves you up to more advanced careers. So that's going to be your next step. And a lot of people come to us even after landing a job. They watch our YouTube videos. They send us a message. Hey, I've been watching your YouTube videos and I landed a job and now I am in your courses. How is that even possible? That's because they are using this process. They have been using this process and they landed a job and then they come to us. So it's, it's something like you should try before you say it's not going to work. If you try all the stuff and you keep learning, 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 you're not losing anything. You're still preparing yourself for that full-blown, skillful uh, IT individual. When you finish the whole roadmap or our recommended courses for IT professionals, you are an IT professional at that point because you would have touched so much technology, so much skills that you are equivalent to someone who is working for six months in IT and touching everything. Not just a help desk who's changing passwords for six months. I don't consider that to be a, a very uh skillful uh it professional why because they they aren't touching servers they aren't touching basics they aren't touching other things they're limited they have been limited by the company so you are a little bit uh, ahead of that individual but here you just can't give up you have to try first and then uh, uh you know uh, look at the results so this is how i will tell people if they want to go for jobs early on they don't want to wait they want to get it quickly this is the process let us know what do you uh, get out of this and we will also find out how much how many people have been successful after this video so we can share that in the next video